You were right. Should've told me. Oh my god. God. Today we're ending an era and we are going to be watching the last installment of the Kissing Booth series, The Kissing Booth 3. I love it that they just did not change the title at all. They just went The Kissing Booth 2, The Kissing Booth 3. I'm hoping we still get a kissing booth in this movie. Without further ado, let's get started. Today's video is sponsored by Raycon. If you guys don't know, I use Raycons all the time. You've seen me use them in practically all my videos. If you guys don't know what Raycons are, Raycons are wireless earbuds that are premium sound quality and they come at about half the price of other audio brands on the market right now. They also come in a wide variety of colors and patterns. Mine are in white and I also have the black pair. These are their everyday earbuds and they have really good bass. They have a noise isolating fit. They're really comfortable and they also have six hours of playtime on a single charge so you don't have to worry about it dying on you in the middle while you're doing something. I use Raycons when I'm working out or when I'm filming so it's important to me that my earbuds stay on while I'm doing those things and I wouldn't want them to die in the middle of a workout or while filming. The company was co-founded by Ray J and celebrities like Snoop Dogg and Mike Tyson and Rich the Kid use Raycons. Raycons also have a 45 day free return policy so you guys can try out Raycons and find out if they're the best fit for you. With Raycon, you don't have to compromise and you don't have to pick between a premium sound quality or an affordable price. Raycon prioritizes their customer needs from start to finish. You guys can go to buyraycon.com slash trim to get 15% off your Raycon order. Thank you Raycon for sponsoring today's video and without further ado, let's get started. And got a reminder about rule number 19. Decided to think about it later. I don't know why in the third movie we're still letting these stupid goddamn rules get in between the two of them. It's like you guys aren't friends if rules like that are gonna. But the absolute best was watching the Bay Lights with my favorite two guys in the world. Ew, that just looks like a weird threesome about to happen. <laughs> Is does Kissing Booth three stand for threesome? Anyway, what am I, I watching? Thinking... I'll be right back. Is this the whole movie setup gonna Hello? be? Her deciding between colleges and their beach house getting sold? I'm sorry, I don't really care about people's beach houses getting sold because I don't have one. <laughs> I do not have one, so I don't feel sympathy for those who have to make that decision. Because if you're rich enough to have a beach house. You don't deserve my sympathy. The next day, I had to pick a school and make one of my two favorite people. This whole thing of her being like, I'm not gonna tell them and I'm just gonna like pop a surprise on them and not communicate my feelings with them, that I'm having a really hard decision right now, is what leads to everything in the first place. Like, we've had three movies of the same plot and the same hardships. There's no risk. There's no, like, I know they're gonna end up forgiving her. Their height difference, Jacob and Joey's height difference is disturbing. Like, it's not cute. I don't think drastic height differences are something to be sought after. They look insane. And the idea this would be our last summer here together. Is this the end of the movie? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> this seems like the end of the movie. The end of an era. This is this is already closed up. We're wrapped up. The chapter. She chooses both. Knowing her, she's gonna choose both, and she's gonna go in between Berkeley and Harvard throughout the entire semester. Good for her. Why do we care about this fucking house? Like we've never seen it. We've literally never seen this house. Why do we care that they are having to sell it? Because first of all, I wouldn't have cared if we had already seen them in it. Second of all. I just don't care. This has no significance to the story. We've never seen them in this beach house. I thought their house was a beach house because it was near a beach. They don't look like at all like them. They did not do a good casting on the child versions of themselves. No. Wait, is that what I- Is that the list of rules? Oh, I, I literally thought that was the list of rules. He and I put together a list of all the- I'm not here for another list. The list has led to every single problem in every single movie, and it is the worst thing ever. Your list suck. All of your lists suck. Hey, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. Imagine framing a scene between them two. Like, that must fucking suck for the director to have to frame a scene between them and have them both in the same shot. Oh, Jesus Christ. Harvard. What? Oh! <laughs> 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 put me down, put me down. 
What a little baby. What a little poopy baby. Why is he running away like a child? He's literally running away. Oh my God, he is such a tantrum. He's throwing a temper tantrum. I can't just not be upset about this, Elle. Well, you can be upset about it, but not You're take it out on her. But the truth was, I was leaving him. You're gonna be grown adults soon. Like you need to get over yourselves. This is not that serious. They're acting like they are in the 1950s and they just have no contact with each other if they go to different colleges. Like they are acting insane. He is the worst character. Like he has done this in every single movie. He has done this shit in every single movie. He's, he's just throwing a temper tantrum about every little thing. Oh my god, you're so annoying. But what I do know is that no matter where we are, you're always gonna be my best friend. Not if you keep acting like this because you are so manipulative. It is fine to be upset, but the way he's behaving, not acceptable at all. If I told my therapist someone in my life was acting like him, she would say, I need to lay down some boundaries and set some ground rules that you can't You'd act like that when I give you news. You can be upset but you need to know what's appropriate and what's not. We're grown, we're, we're grown adults now. The way Noah has no, no storyline at all. The way, he's like kind of irrelevant in these movies now that you think so. In all seriousness, like who are they? Oh, it's the rapist. Every single reaction shot of them so, is just, is so goofy. It looks like a commercial for like Taco Bell. They're like, <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're giving very Taco Bell commercial vibes. Here we go. One, two, three. Another mont dude, this is we're at like montage number four and it's only been twenty nineteen minutes into the into the movie. It's giving YouTube rewind if I've ever seen one. <laughs> this is the same thing as to all the boys I love before, always and forever. Literally half the movie was montages and I could not stand it. Cause it wasn't, montages are used to like move across the, like it's supposed to move the movie along in a fast energetic way. It's not fun when there's only montages because then there's nothing to freaking pay attention to. It'll be like we're moving in together without the actual, you know, moving in part. I accept your offer. She keeps doing that. She goes like this. <laughs> Maybe you should ask her first. No, well, it's okay. We're in a pretty good place right now. I think we're in a good place because you don't have any character in this movie. Like you're irrelevant to the movie and the relationship as well. So she doesn't care. That's kind of a double standard. I was totally fine with Chloe. Um, I didn't kiss Chloe. I didn't mean for that to come out the way that it did. I'm, I'm really sorry. I don't, I don't think anybody in this movie has any critical thinking or emotional intelligence. And this is not me saying that I would like, I only hate it because it's targeted at a younger audience. I would have hated this as a child. Like I would have literally hated this when I was a child. There's no way I would have liked it because I just, I grew up on different, I, I grew up different. We grew up on different rom-coms than everyone else, you know? This would have been horrible when I was younger as well because I'm not afraid of watching a childhood rom-com. I love watching The Princess Di Don't even compare this to The Princess Diaries. Don't even, don't even. But even though I wanted to be with Noah so badly, I couldn't help wondering if I should have chosen Berkeley with Lee instead. Oh my God. Oh my God. You guys are insufferable in this movie. It's like every little decision about my whole life has to consider you and you and like everyone. Oh, that would be insufferable to live in. Her life seems like a living hell. It seems horrible. <laughs> Are they going to get together at the end of this? Oh my god, that would be an amazing plot twist. I think it's great for the plot. Um, it's really going to liven up the story, I feel like. Because this is a snooze fest so far. It's like, it's crawling. Anyway, I'm really sorry, Lee. Are you mad at me? No. As long as we're still good for tomorrow. That's a very big character development because it's very much in his character to be super mad about that because he's codependent. My diagnosis from watching this is that Lee suffers from a very strong thing of codependency. And I feel like Elle might suffer from it as well. And I hate them. 
I hate them. They've been waiting their whole lives for this. No, they have not. They did not even re They literally did not even remember that list until they, they found it. They didn't remember this. Your turn, Luigi. I love that 3D banana. Oh my god, can we see the Kissing Booth 3D? We should have done a better marketing strategy here, Netflix. The Kissing Booth 3D. Aw, oh, boo, little baby boy. Baby boy didn't win. Oh, he sucks. I like how that's the first character, like, bit we've seen of Noah is him being jealous of Marco. It's like, you, you don't have any other part in this movie other than being jealous of this motherfucker. Marco and if you think that he's not still after you, then you're being naive. Oh. It's embarrassing. <laughs> it's Damn. Embarrassing. Awful in every single movie. It's like, you didn't want to wear the Wario costume, so I gave it to someone who did. I need Wario in this, in this costume bit idea, okay? And if I don't have him, it's gonna be shit. So someone stepped up to the plate. What, you don't wanna do it? Of course I wanna do it. You got your hands full. I think this would have been a great story if they, if their ages were maybe middle school going into high school. Cause it's like, I don't know, like it's kind of giving that type of vibe. Maybe we need a rewrite on the ages. Oh my God, are they having sex? Thought you could use a night in. You deserve it. What does she deserve? What does she do? She's literally been having so much fun completing her bucket list, and the only other thing she's doing is working. Oh my god, this is Step Up Revolution. Step Up 4, Revolution. I think it's way f more fun in Step Up 4. They like literally do an amazing choreographed dance. And they're also doing a revolution where they're fighting the government to stop gentrification. Should we be worried about this truth? No, not at all. Just a bunch of stupid kids. Ever think about using your, sum your summer for something good? Cause all it seems like you are doing is causing a ruckus. Also, all of their friends are in the flash mob except for Noah. Why is he such a hater? You are working. I love Marco. I am a Marco lover right here. He's the best character in this movie. I love Marco and I love Chloe. And I think they are, maybe should get together. Sure. <laughs> okay, yeah. Why is he the only one that she can cry to? Oh my God, is he gonna see them hugging on the beach? Oh, they're both hugging people. I hope they cheat on each other. I would really liven up the movie. Nothing is doing it for me at this point. No, Flynn wants to dance. Yeah, just this one time. Why doesn't he do anything that she likes? She loves dancing. He's like, just this one time. I go fuck yourself. Oh, I hate him. Imagine hugging your boyfriend and your head is literally at his nipples. To get them both in the shot? Oh, that's awful. Better fight for you. No, you don't. You're not gonna fight for each other. It's so unrealistic that they would have stayed together throughout these f three movies. If there was a fourth movie, we would have seen it all crumble. But thank you so much for being there for me. It's literally more than anyone else has done for you in this whole trilogy, babe. You need to get better people in your life. And Marco is it. Team Marco, I love this man so much. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss right now. <laughs> I hope it's okay I'm here. It's okay if you're here, babe, I promise. You look scrum dilly umptious too. <laughs> you look really good. I just don't know why we are going through the same conflict in every fucking movie. And I, well, okay, not the same conflict, but this is similar to what we already experienced in the last movie. And now we're kind of having this cycle in this movie. Oh. He is a little crazy person right there. He was smiling. He was like, yeah, I hit him. Yeah, nice shot, asshole. It's perfectly fine to call you an asshole after you literally spiked it into my face. You still want L, and everybody here knows that. So I said shut so up. The sooner you get that through your thick skull, the sooner you can- <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's amazing. That's what I've wanted to do this entire trilogy. Oh, and it just feels so good. How is it immediately red? We're not doing this. 
Why are we acting like this is character development? Two, like literally five minutes earlier, he spiked the volleyball right into his face and was like, I hope she starts running again. Oh, I would love a callback to the first movie where she's running. I cannot believe that you just did that. He, he was pushing me. I, I didn't know what to do. I don't care. I think it's perfectly fine. He was literally being like, look at this guy. Look at this stupid loser. I would totally sock him in the face right there if he was trying to embarrass me like that. He deserves to get punched. Well, I'm sorry, Dad. I'm. She can't just like walk into our lives and be all part of it. Like she's just been here the whole time. Just like not what she was doing. Linda, you don't belong here. Oh, that was a racist statement. I know people say it a lot of the times in different contexts, but it just seems like such a racially motivated se sentence. Oh, yo, Elle's a bitch. I don't like Elle. I just think it's selfish of you to even be doing it. Selfish. Yes. You're a little whore. <laughs> You have no idea how disappointed in you I am, right? Yo, he's so right. He was, he was, he was funding your private school, by the way. Don't act like your little job is funding Harvard either, babe. Don't act like it. And don't act like you're getting any scholarships either. as if it is not like gated up and you can, like you just cannot access those. I'm so sorry. You just cannot access the Hollywood sign just on your lonesome. We've been fighting a lot lately. I mean, I guess, but you know, I've, I've just had so much pressure on me and- About what? About what? What What have you had pressure about? Why are we acting like these problems are the end of the world? Let's say we keep trying. Are you breaking up with me? <gasps> so in, in a year's time, it doesn't work out. You're breaking up with her? That's amazing. So that's it. Well, you guys are really toxic. Not to be a bitch, but you guys are really boring. Maybe sometimes loving each other just isn't enough. Um, I don't think that's the issue. It's that you both have like the maturity of like 10 year olds and you have no idea what communication is. You have no idea what being responsible for your own emotions is. And you never know how to communicate your feelings. So that's the reason why. It's not just some fault within your guys' personalities. You guys just don't try to be better humans and communicate your emotions. Oh my god, that is so embarrassing. Running like that is so embarrassing. Like, by the Hollywood sign. Oh, we finally got that run that we've been waiting for. The way they wrote this is so stupid because, like, they are not meshing well together. It That's not because they are just two souls that don't match. It's because literally both of them are stupid and can't say what they feel to save their lives. That That is going to be reoccurring in every single relationship. I'm not saying that they're good together. I'm not saying that I'm a, I'm a, I'm a L and Noah shipper. I could really care less if they're together or not. And I'm actually kind of happy. This was the most interesting scene in the movie that they broke up. That was, that we should have started there. That would have been amazing. Also, he like keeps saying like, I'm not trying to be responsible for your decision. It's like, okay, that's a you problem. And also it's a her problem if she's making you feel all responsible for that, which we don't know because we haven't seen her regret it and then put the blame on him. So, you know. Oh my God. There is still 45 minutes of this movie left. Are you kidding me? What this entire summer was about. Well, she shouldn't have to make it, it up. To she shouldn't have had to make it up to you in the first Forget place if you it. reacted like a normal person and she's didn't so flip out on her no, for a decision that was entirely right hers to make. It's not just about the damn game, L. It's about you rubbing coochies with my brother. You're never gonna get that back. This is dramatic. But you know what? Maybe that's the point. Maybe we're not supposed to. Oh my god, that's literally to. what I've been saying this entire time. At least time. those of us have to grow up at some point. I'm so sorry, but that should have been in place the first movie when this entire thing happened. That I think you are an absolutely brilliant woman. It literally looks like she's dying. Like, it literally looks like she's going off into heaven right there. That like, she just saw a vision of Chloe two seconds away from death. They told me everything last night. Newsflash, you actually rose your kids to be assholes and they have ruined my life. <laughs> like, they suck. That maybe your choice of school had more to do with what other people wanted for you 
rather than what you wanted for yourself. She's like, I don't want to go to Berkeley or Harvard. I'm going to USC. You know, I've watched them trying to keep up their long distance relationship and- <laughs> That is just like, everyone is in the shithole right now. <laughs> like, hey. Each was a big part of my life. <laughs> you sexually <laughs> harassed me. <laughs> You were right. Shift told me. Oh my god. I uh I heard about you and Noah. Yeah. So then come to Berkeley with me. It's worth a shot. He's so, <laughs> He's so selfish. He's so selfish. He's so stupid. He's like, oh, so you broke up with Noah? Come to Berkeley with me. I just got broken up with. I think we should get together. Are they gonna get together at the end of this movie? That's insane. That would be a major plot twist. They're both single now. They might as well. But then they could build a whole nother movie off of Noah being jealous over F F Lee and L. I forgot his name. So, um, you know where you want to go? She's like, I'm taking a gap year. I think so. After all this, she takes a gap year. She goes in between Berkeley and Harvard. Why was I... I said that as a joke. I said USC as a joke. I didn't actually mean it. She wants to do video game design. Oh, what a loser. Right. I don't know why I said that. I just want to hate her. I'm just a hater about everything. The only thing she ever really needed from you was... was for you to love her. And you couldn't even do that, loser. You couldn't even do that. You couldn't even just love her. You had to be a little dick about everything and be so selfish all the time. Literally, both of you guys are trash. Like, literally trash brothers. Like, no wonder you guys act literally the same. Your parents raise, rose you to be bitches. You suck. What you need is therapy. With all that money and you're not getting therapy, that's embarrassing. I wish I could have taken a nap while watching this movie. What I need, this looks like the beginning of the movie. The same thing that they were doing at the beginning of the movie where they're like reminiscing over the beach house that we had no recollection of. Like we had never seen this beach house before and they were like, oh my God. It's the same thing. It's the same scene, except she's alone. They got individual cakes? What the fuck? This is exactly like the last episode of Hannah Montana. I added a new one. Rule number 35. Always call your bestie every time you miss them. 35 rules and it literally ruined your friendship like 10 times. Like, dude, it's a shitty list. I'll tell you that. It's a shitty list if it almost ruined your friendship like five times in like one movie. Each movie, it's like torn their friendship apart like five times. Oh my God, she looks scary. Oh my God. That was literally terrifying. Ew, this is really scary. This is not cool. It looks like he's gonna like reverse into them and run them all over. Six years later, she looks um like Ellen. The kids at school were still using the kissing booth. Why do they act like they invented the kissing booth? Like kissing booths already existed. They're a very normal, normal thing to have at fairs. He Again. looks like Christian Bale <laughs> in American Psycho. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Okay. That is so right. awkward. I hate that. <laughs> I hate this interaction more it. than okay. if they were like in an argument. She was crying her eyes out right now. Bye. Ew, she sound she looks insane chuckling to herself right now. And this looks very Hallmark. You're giving Hallmark right now, for sure. The like extreme out of focus the background is on her is giving Hallmark. Every kiss begins with K. It's giving K's commercial vibes, you know what I mean? I've seen the paths that you this is the longest goodbye I've ever seen in my entire life. It, they are giggling like insanely, like an, an insane amount of giggling is going on. And it's so long. It's so long. They styled her to look like a grandma. Like, I don't know why they styled her like that. Like, she doesn't look like a businesswoman in her 20s, early 20s. She looks like grandma. Oh, I'm so upset by this. This is so boring too, by the way. Like, the most interesting part of this movie is when they were breaking up. It has been a snooze fest since then. I think the author was giving us what needed to be given in the first movie. Now I look back on the first movie and I'm like, wow, that was like actually really good. This is, this was 
only two hours and it felt like a million fucking years um this was the worst out of all three like in the last two like it was kind of like fun it was kind of quirky it was kind of whatever they should have just ended on the last one where she accepted a college that she was going to get into and then moved on and they like she goes to harvard with noah or whatever and she lives her codependent life being codependent with both these boys having both people rely on her for their own emotional stability, you know? she That should have been the end of the movie because I don't know what this is. This was so drawn out. This was like the most drawn out movie I've ever like seen in my entire life. They did freaking third, they did an hour of crap. They did an hour of filler to get to their main point. We had this, them cycle through the whole fucking Marco jealousy thing, which we already saw in the last movie. We had the Lee being a little bitch about the rules thing fucking the whole movie it's like we already had the thing of the last movie where marco was like okay you i'm the second lead i get it like i get it i'm living the second lead life like they were just going in circles when writing this like they were saying yes to every single idea and they were incorporating it all like there should have been probably 30 minutes of this movie cut it's like i'm in a toxic relationship with the movie it's like they just keep doing the same thing to me every single time even though i beg them to change they just keep doing they like they're like sorry i'm not gonna do that again and then they continue to do it like that's how i feel i feel like i'm in a toxic relationship with these movies and i wish i didn't have to watch them i don't have to watch them this is the choice i made this is my choice my responsibility I'm just, oh my god, I could go on for days about how much I hate this. And like, I know I'm taking it very seriously. It's the Kissing Booth 3. I don't know what I was expecting. Um, but I really do hate it with a burning passion. Like with my entire, my entire heart, I hate it so much. I feel like this would have been a way better movie if they were actually like in middle school. Because then you would have understood where the immaturity came from. But all of them are acting like they're fucking like toddlers running around not being able to control their emotions. Anyways, enough of this. I am so starving. I put off my meal to do this video. And that's a mistake on my end. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And leave a comment down below what you thought of The Kissing Booth. I would love to talk to you guys about what you thought of The Kissing Booth. Because I'm sure I, I got a few Kissing Booth lovers in the, in the comment section. And I'd love to see what they thought of this movie, this installment of the series. You guys can also check out my first commentaries to The Kissing Booth and The Kissing Booth 2. They're on my channel and I'll have a link them at the end of the video. Make sure you subscribe so you can see more videos from me and turn on the notifications bell if you want to be notified every single time I post a video. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.